We get a little bit of a surprise result overnight. That surprise result, of course, being that we didn't get any surprises. We're finally getting that gold price pullback. We're seeing it happening in real time now. The election gave us a clear winner overnight, and that knocked out a lot of the general uncertainty that had been pushing prices higher. Also brought in the candidate that most people thought would be strong on the economy. Now, I'm not here to debate politics with anybody. All we have to do is look at the US dollar index. It's gonna tell us what's happening, and we can see the dollar is rallying. You can also see it's having the opposite impact on gold. Was that last part expected though? Well, not really. This is the one in three chance that I mentioned, that we would have a clear and undisputed winner so soon that the Republicans would also gain control of the Senate and even make gains in the House. Now, to be clear, it wasn't the outcome that was unexpected. It was the speed at which the outcome was apparent. Now, if the results would have drug out, we would have seen a rate decision from the Fed this week. We would have seen that probable announcement from China on an enormous federal stimulus. And all of those things would have been positive for gold. Now, looking back, I wonder how much bad information was coming from the media, making this out to be a historically tight race. None of that matters now, though. What does matter is that in the course of 24 hours, everything changed. Now, if you're celebrating the drop in price, want to get in a quick purchase of gold or silver, well, Summit Metals has you covered. They have great prices, great people, and fast shipping, and that can be pretty hard to find these days. So be sure to check them out. They're easy to find. SummitMetals.com And nothing has changed with the fundamentals driving the gold rally. We'll come back to that in a minute. We just flushed a bunch of immediate uncertainty. And with it, some uncertainty premium. Now, traders will move money into gold when they're anxious. We all know that. It drives the prices up. Now, I made a similar bet on Friday, making a small purchase to hold me over, just in case we had a drawn-out vote count or maybe some kind of dispute on the results or, worst case, some kind of garden variety chaos. Now, that was an easy bet that I was happy to make. The price today is $60 less per ounce. That's a 2% drop, and I happen to buy a series coin, so the drop is quite a bit less than that. But either way, it wouldn't have had an impact on my average cost. That's a point that I tried to make in my last video. I try to make a base purchase every month at the point in the month I feel is both priced right and convenient. Now, if you take every purchase that you've made with gold, you get an average price. Now, for me, I've made hundreds of purchases, so every new price that I make doesn't swing my average very much. So I don't stop entirely if gold is up 33% on the year like it was. I just slow down. And to the extent that I can, I save up for a big drop. A big drop being like 10 or 15% from a local high. And we've talked about this. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a drop like that since 2022. So what we have now is a minor pullback on a, a huge rally. Call it a dip or a pullback, correction. But a 2% drop doesn't make me regret a past purchase. What it does is make me feel a little bit better about my next purchase. And somewhere in the back of my head, I guess, it gets me hoping for more. The Fed announces its next rate decision at 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. That's Thursday, and everyone expects another rate cut. Well, 99 point something percent of everyone expects another rate cut. If the Fed doesn't cut, though, we might just see one of those fund dips. But again, the likelihood there is almost nil. But one thing that we saw on the last cut is that the U.S. dollar actually rallied on news of a cut. That's about the opposite of what you would expect to happen, at least what most were saying would happen. And a rallying dollar typically results in falling gold price. So there's hope there. If what you're hoping for is a 2% drop to turn into something more. Now, easily the most important part in this whole thing is that the wildest predictions on where the price of gold or silver were going, they have been based on the possibility of some kind of fiscal policy that led to a weaker U.S. dollar. Now, like I've said in probably every video in the past few months, none of those predictions meant anything because they were on the wrong side of the election results. So half of those possibilities and half of those theories are just no longer even possible. Now, I have a feeling that we're now going to be seeing a lot of analysts changing their predictions for future gold price. Now, my guess is that we're now going to get a much needed breather on the price of gold and silver. I bought silver in the $23 range and maybe I'll hold on to that topic for another time. Tell you how I traded it last week because I know it's not going to make some of those silver bucks 
happy. I've been teasing it. You probably can guess. Just don't tell anyone I did it. But gold has done exactly what we could hope for this year. And if it pulls back a little bit now that we have a big question answered, well, it'll be following along with what we'd want it to do again. So if you're buying gold this week, you have a better price than you would have had last week. But if you're peering into your crystal ball, trying to figure out where gold goes from here, I would just say maybe give that a few days. Let this week shake out. Now, adding it all up, though, today's pullback does make perfect sense, considering the surprise lack of surprise. And personally, I feel pretty good about it. This puts me closer to a normal buying schedule again than I think I've been all year. Now, that's assuming we don't get a new surprise. And hopefully I didn't just jinx it there. And that's going to do it for this one. So let us know if you're jumping on the dip. Maybe you're waiting for more or, hey, maybe you're just happy to be on the other side of a big event. Let us know. And then while you're in the comments, be sure to hit that like button if you found any of this interesting. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you want to hear more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.